Hey guys, how you doing today? Hope you're all doing well. So I got some projects coming up. I got a couple pedals and a few amplifiers that I need to trace some signals through um, where the signal is dropping out somewhere in the circuit. So I need to build a guitar amp signal tracer. I thought it'd be pretty cool to hang out with you guys and show you how I make one up real quick. It's just a real simple thing. It's a guitar cable on one end, a ground and positive on the other end, and a 0.1 capacitor in line with the positive. What that allows me to do is check through a circuit and find a signal and see if it's dropping out somewhere. So we'll get you zoomed in here and uh, I'll show you how to make one up. Warning. Electronics and audio circuits can contain lethal high voltages. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. Any attempt at this project will be strictly at your own risk. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a audio signal probe to trace a signal through a guitar preamp. The power amp of the amp is working and so it's dropping signal out of the preamp. So I'm going to put together this little tool and uh, see if I can find how that signal is dropping out. It's really simple. All you need is a guitar cable. One end, just cut the other end off and have the wires exposed. You need a probe. I just use an, an old multimeter probe. Cut the end off. And then you're going to need a capacitor. This one's a 104 which is a 0.1. I'm going to put that in the positive line in between the probe and the positive of the guitar cable. Like so. And then this ground will ground the chassis and also ground to the guitar plug here. What this does is allow me to plug this end into a guitar amp and this end I can probe around inside an amplifier and find a signal that I'll put into the input of the guitar amp. So I'll be able to find that signal in different points. The purpose of this capacitor is it allows AC through but blocks DC. So when you're probing around in a guitar amp many times there's both kinds of power running through so you have a small AC signal which is your guitar signal or line level and you have a higher voltage DC and so what we don't want is the DC voltage coming up through here and going into the guitar amp that we're using as a tester as it'll likely just blow it right out so we'll put this in line with the positive it'll allow our signal to come through but won't allow any power that's on that same circuit to come back DC and into our guitar amp. So let's go ahead and put this together. Helps to have some heat shrink and a good soldering iron to get this done too but whatever you have at hand just make sure you put a sufficient capacitor in there. I use a high voltage one just in case there's higher voltages and uh, the capacitor can handle it. So let's give her a shot. First thing I'm going to do is tin up all these wires.
So next thing we'll do here is we may as well start with the ground. So the alligator to chassis is going to connect to the shielded portion of the guitar cable.